Shalom, Shalom, Israel. First and foremost, before I start this lesson, I want to give our honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, the teachers, truth, and Ruel. Peace and citation to the whole fillet that scattered abroad. And today I just want to go into it, man. Hey, we got to pray for fewer days, you know, and steadily as we pray for fewer days, still hope in the salvation and hope in Yahweh Bashim al Shai to come deliver us, okay? Because whether we know it or not, the Lord's coming back for the elect, okay? The Lord's coming back for the elect. And Lord willing, we be part of that number to make our calling and our election sure. Okay, so we show diligence. And as we show diligence in our captivity, you know, we stay hopeful. Okay, because we're doing the things that are needed that the Lord commanded us to do. And the Lord willing, the Lord see us, um, see what we do is pleasing to him. And it's a, it's a good smell in his, in his nose and his eyes too. All right, so we're just going to start with the Baruch of 4, Baruch chapter 4, verse 21. It says, be of, be of good cheer, O my children. Okay, when you go into the word children, it means sons. Okay, it says, cry unto the Lord. He will deliver you from the power and hand of the enemies. Okay, and our main enemy is Esau Edom. Okay, he's the one the Lord has set up that has, that has ruined the earth. Okay, and that's ruling the earth. Right now, he's ruling it and he's in power, okay? And the Lord said he would deliver us from the power and hand of our enemies, okay? And also, when Esau's on top, all these other nations are on top as well. We're literally the tail. We're literally at the bottom. We're, we're uh, spit upon, we look down upon, etc., right? <laughs> Lock you. Verse 22, it says, For my hope is in the everlasting, that he will save you. Right? Our hope is in the everlasting, who? The everlasting power, Yahweh Shemel Shai. That he will save you, all right? Save us, the elect. And joy, uh, Lord willing, we be part of the elect. So let me correct that. <clears throat> and it says, And joy is come unto, unto me from the Holy One. Because of the mercy which shall soon come unto you from the everlasting, our Savior. All right. So, you know, as we, as we're our hope, you know, it's in Yahweh Shai to come and deliver us. Because that's what his name means. Meaning he says he delivers. We have joy. All right. We like, wow. Okay. Somebody's going to come save us from, you know, our oppression, our captivity, our, you know, being in, in, uh, Hell position, hell condition, okay? Because this is hell, bro. This is not life. This is not nowhere near life. But this is our punishment for going off against Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. So while it is a balance, we know, <clears throat> amen, the Lord has to come back, man. He has to destroy this devil, all right? But reading it says, And joys come unto me from the Holy One. Because of the mercy which shall soon come unto you from the everlasting our Savior. Okay, verse 23. For I sent you out with mourning and weeping, right? Mourning and crying, sadness, depression. All right. But the but Yahweh Bashim Asha will give will give you to me again with joy and gladness forever, right? When Yahweh Shai comes back, you know. Hey Amen. We're going to be perfect. We're going to be changed. So we're going to be able to be, you know, with, with the father, with, with the son. Okay. We're going to be joined together again. Okay. And we're never going to fall away. Right. And it says verse 24, like as now the neighbors of Sion have seen your captivity. So shall they, uh, so like it says, so shall they see shortly your salvation from our power, which shall come upon you with great glory and brightness of the everlasting, right? My children, suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from the Most High, right? The reason why we're in this position is because the Lord's wrath, 
The Lord's angry. Okay, he's angry with us from from what we did. For the same reason why he put us, while he put us in slavery, while you know while we were getting killed, while we getting you know spat upon, all right. But we have to suffer patiently. Being patient means to suffer. So we got to suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon us from the Most High. All right? For thine enemy has persecuted thee, right? But shortly thou shalt see his destruction and shalt tread upon his neck. Which also is, you know, prophecy. Because uh, King David, he said it in, in Psalms 149 and Psalms 91. Okay? I'm going to roughly paraphrase it. He said... Um, thine eyes shall see the reward of the wicked. So it says, but surely thou shalt see his destruction. So King David said, thine eyes shall see the reward of the wicked. How? By seeing them getting burnt up by nuclear fire. Right? And it says, and shall tread upon his neck. Okay? In Psalms 149, it tells you how we're going to put the, the kings with, you know, with um yokes of iron. Uh, let me just grab it real quick. Psalms 149. Real quick, Psalms 149, I believe in the last verse, mm, right here, Psalms 149, verse 8, it says, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, okay, so when you go back to Baruch 4, go down, and it says, in 25, it says, but surely thou shalt see his destruction and shalt tread upon his neck. So, right, we're going to put them in captivity. Okay, this is the hope the Lord gave us, the comfort, right? So, let's go to um, Lamentations chapter 3, verse 24. And it says, how is my portion, saith my soul, therefore will I hope in him. Yahweh is good unto them that wait for him, for to the soul that seeketh him, right? We're patiently waiting, right? The Lord says he's good unto them that wait for him, right? Because it shows us, it actually shows the Lord our, our, our patience and how much we really believe, right? Uh, the scriptures say it's impossible to please him if you don't have faith, okay? So, hey, faith is, you know, it's a key thing. You, you waiting... For the Lord, meaning you have faith in him. You have faith that he's going to come back. Just like a dog. When, it, when you leave the house, your dog is patiently waiting for you. It's hoping for you to come back. Waiting for you. And every time it come, every time you come home, they're happy. They're, and they're in joy. They have faith. You know, just, just to put a, you know, an example. Just for you to picture it, right? Yahweh is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeketh him, right? Our soul seeketh him daily. We call upon his name daily, right? Verse 26, and it says, It is good that a man shall both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of Yahweh, right? Watch as well as pray. We hope in, in, in that Yahweh Bashim Yahshua see us fit to be, for us to be numbered of the elect 144,000 prophets, okay? And, but, hey, look. Is, 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 the scripture says it's good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. Amen. Though it feels like a long time, the Lord is going to come back very, very soon. Sooner than what we believe. So as we were quietly waiting, hoping, praying, you know, parent, putting up curses against this place. Amen. We Our souls seek the Lord daily. So the Lord is going to, you know, help us throughout this walk. Help us, you know, in this position that we in. Okay? Let's get um second Ezra chapter two verse thirteen. And it says, Go and ye shall receive. Pray for few days unto you, right? We pray for fewer days that the Lord could come back. Alright. The Lord said he shortened days for the elect's sake, right? So we're praying for fewer days. It says that day may be shortened. Hey, the Lord is hearing our prayers, brothers. We're praying for fewer days. 
prophecy say in Matthew 24, A, no flesh shall be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So as we pray for more fewer days, Lord, come back. Lord, please, please get me. Lord, please, Lord, please show mercy upon me. Deliver the deliver the elect. Please. Hey, we're praying for fewer days, right? That they may be shortened, right? The kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch. The kingdom is already prepared for you, right? Scriptures say, um, in my father's house are many mansions. Hey, so, hey, the kingdom is already being prepared. We have to watch, right? And, hey, look, the kingdom of heaven is, in, is within you. Okay, so, hey, as it's being prepared, we're watching it. We're literally watching the kingdom being manifested upon earth. Because, you know, we have that kingdom... That kingdom of heaven mindset, okay, starting with his knowledge, but also we're going to see it manifest when the Lord comes back, beams the elect, the elect comes back down, put these, put these devils in the chains and see them build our kingdom, bro. Everything, a, a, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. A, it's already been written. Okay, so. The Lord is going to is going to execute on all levels, right? Let's get this Sirach chapter 34 verse 13 Sirach 34 and 13 it says the spirit of those that fear the Lord shall live. Okay? So main thing in this truth is fearing Yahweh Shai. Fearing Yahweh Shai. Fearing Yahweh Bahashim. Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rakakwadash, right? The spirit of those that fear the Lord shall live. Okay, because fear drives you to offend less and you know build closer to your father. Because you know what he could do. Alright? Says the spirit of those that fear the Lord shall live. Look at King David. He feared the Lord. He feared that the Lord would go take the spirit from him because he's seen it upon, you know, Saul. Amen. King David asked, um, Lord, take not thy Holy Spirit away from me, but create in me a, a clean heart and a new spirit. Roughly paraphrasing, man. Okay. Hey, the main thing, we don't want the Lord to take the Holy Spirit from us. The Lord gave us something that's so precious and so valuable in life. And if you don't have it, you're dead. You're bugged out. You're going crazy. We don't want that, man. We want to constantly fear the Lord because we know the Lord can take this away from us. All right. The spirit. Of, uh, let me read it again. Sirach 34, 13. The spirit of those that fear the Lord shall live. For their hope is in him that saveth them. Right. Our, all the, the men of the Lord's hope is in is in him. Yahweh Shai. All right. That saveth them. Their hope is in him, right? Our main focus in this truth is about Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is the only person that's going to come back and save us. Save us, save us from this captivity, save us from these curses, save us from everything, right? Scriptures say, no man shall buy you, but only one could buy us back because Yahweh Shai. He's the same one that put us in here. He's the same one to get us out, right? Our hope is in him. Our hope is in him. That's all we hope for. Yahweh shall save us. Yahweh shall save us. All right? That we do the things that are needed to be called and and um and chosen. All right? It says, For their hope is in him that saveth them. Whoso feareth the Lord shall not fear nor be afraid, for he is his hope. So, hey, let's just put it for example. When that time comes, you know, when all hell breaking loose, it's going to look scary. It's going to look scary. But the scriptures say, Whoso feareth the Lord shall not fear nor be afraid. Because you know the Lord orchestrating everything. Everything. Even being so-called martyred. When you're about to be martyred, when you're about to be killed, you should not be afraid nor fear. Because you already know the comfort of what's going to happen. You know, your work's going to follow you. If you're still in this truth, your work's going to follow you, right? 
and your spirit is going to go back into the one that 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 sent it that that created it which is yahabashi melsha right also you're going to be judged for what you did good or bad upon this earth and best believe what we're doing on this earth is good right we we uh we're uh we're listening to yahabashi melsha's word you know we're doing things that's needed you know we're not going to be perfect but we do what we do and try our best, right? But Yahweh is our hope. Yahweh is that's our main thing. Yahweh Bashim Shah is our main thing that we need to be focused on. He is our hope. He's the one that's going to save us. He's going to one. That, hey man, he's going to give everything, right? No, when you're back against the wall, you have hope. Against we have you have hope in Yahweh Bashim Shah. Our back is literally against the corner. We only got one thing left. That's that's our power. That's our father, our king. Yahweh Bashimi al Shai, man. Right? Let's get this. First Thessalonians 5, verse 9. It says, For the Most High have not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, or by our Lord Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, right? It says, For the most high have not appointed us to wrath, but obtain, but to obtain salvation. But to obtain salvation. Right? The Lord has not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain the salvation by our Lord Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. Okay. Damn, bro. This is all we hope for. Ain't nothing better than this, man. And we don't deserve this, bro. This thing about Yahweh Shah we had to go through. Just to call us into grace. You know, damn, bro. The things he had to suffer. We don't deserve, bro. That's why we have to hope in him, man. Anybody that's against the Lord, bro. A repent. Repent, because you gonna die. All right, all that hated, all the hate that hated me loved death, man. Bro, you tripping? Our Lord Yahweh Shai is the only one that's gonna save us out of here, man. That's the only one that's gonna give us salvation. All right. So while brothers, while we're in this truth, constantly, you know, hope, pray, and that goes for myself as well. Hope and pray that the Lord see us fit, you know, to be on that chariot Yahu with Yahweh Shai, man. You know, to drink wine and to cheer with him and white linen. All right. So with that, low will, this lesson been edifying. I'm going to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh. Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. Ba Hashem Till next time I say Shalom.